Hi, I'm Kat, and today we are unboxing the Revolve 2021 Beauty Advent Calendar. I ordered this $125 advent calendar back, I think the first week of November, and at that time it was a pre-order, expected to ship December 15th, which is kind of weird for an advent calendar, but at least they were honest, unlike Glossy Box, who I ordered in October and they didn't get the calendar to me until after the first week in December, so at least I knew what I was getting into. However, I did receive this today, which is December 12th, so they definitely are ahead of schedule. When I ordered this calendar, there was no information on the website. It was a pre-order, kind of like the Neiman Marcus advent calendar, where there was just nothing listed yet. So I don't know what's inside, but I'm pretty excited to see. I checked the website today, and now there is a product listing. I tried to avert my eyes, and now they do say that the retail value of this calendar should be $588. I'll keep you posted down below on where we are value-wise. I've had a couple of comments from people who don't understand the values that I'm putting up. The value that I put on the calendar is the value of the item in the size that we receive it, not the value of a full size item. So if it's a serum that sells for $200 an ounce and we receive a sample that's a half an ounce, I would value that at $100 just to make it easier on the math. Anyway, let's get started. This advent calendar is in a suitcase, which is definitely unique. It has a luggage tag that says 24 days of revolved beauty it's a booklet but you can't open it unless you remove the tag i actually don't know how to get this off without cutting it off i'm assuming it has product information and ingredients inside it says the ultimate beauty essentials set all right let's take a look inside so because it's a suitcase i was kind of hoping we could open it like this Maybe we can. It's upside down. Okay, so it's meant, I got it. It's meant to be laying down. That makes sense. So this is what it looks like. We have individually numbered boxes for the days. I do think it's really cute that on the corners, the boxes are not squared. They're rounded to match the round suitcase. The suitcase is made out of cardboard, so you could recycle it. I actually really like that it's very short and compact. I might use this to store things under my bed. I don't know, we'll see. As long as it's not visible from the hallway, which I don't think it will be. All right, I kind of got it propped up here on my TV and the canvas that's just resting on the wall behind it. Hopefully everything doesn't come crashing down. Day number one. Day number one is a teeny tiny little Ilamasca highlighter. I'm assuming this will be in the shade OMG because that's what's been in other boxes this year. Yes, this is in the shade OMG. I will test a tiny little bit of it. I haven't opened one of these up yet. I make such a mess every time I use highlighter, even when I'm just testing it. Liquid highlighters are great because they're easy to use, but also they're way too easy to get too much product, which is exactly what I do every time I use one. So this is what it looks like. It has a nice subtle glow. Day number two. Day number two is the cutest little verb ghost oil. I've not used the Verb Ghost Oil. I did buy a Verb shampoo and conditioner from Sephora once and the shampoo exploded in the box and Sephora had me send them a picture and then they sent me a replacement and then I used the shampoo and I figured it was called Ghost Shampoo because it was like you didn't shampoo at all. It, it did nothing to clean my hair. So hopefully this Ghost Oil actually does what it's supposed to, we'll see. Day number three. Day number three is a Versed Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. Day 
Day number four is a Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Ultra Hydrating Hair Mask. A lot of people love Briogeo. I haven't tried any of their products that I loved, but I also didn't dislike them either. They were just hair products to me. Day number five. Day number five is a Stila All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I'm assuming it's a teeny tiny little guy. Oh, it's actually a pretty good size eyeliner. I would open it up, but we know what a black eyeliner looks like. Day number six. Day number six is a Cora Organics Turmeric Brightening and Exfoliating Mask. This is a deluxe sample size. I think this is like $16. I remember seeing this in store before. Day number seven. Day number seven is an Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. Not a product that I've seen from Anastasia before. Oh, it's a good amount of eye primer. Here's what the packaging looks like. Day number eight. I need this. This is really good. This is a Tan Lux Super Glow Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum. I am super pale. I will take all the help I can get in the tanning department. So here's what it looks like. I've used this before and I really liked it. I've never bought this. I've only received it in beauty boxes and advent calendars. I like it enough that I would purchase it if it were something that was ever on my mind. Typically, I don't think about self tanning until I receive one and then I think, oh my gosh, I need this. And then I use it all up and I don't ever think to repurchase it. So this, this came just in time. I am very pasty right now. Day number nine. Oh, a product from Aesop. This is the Parsley Seed Facial Cleanser. Not a fan of Aesop just because their parent company owns like five MLMs and I'm just like not behind that business model. So I've never bought anything from there. I can literally see an Aesop store right now looking down like I could throw this out my window right now and actually hit an Aesop store and I've just not ever bought anything from there so I, I guess this is a good way to try out the product without directly supporting them day number 10 we have an herbivore lapis balancing facial oil I'm hoping this will have pretty packaging because it's lapis it does this is actually beautiful so it's like this kind of a, I don't know, almost a aquamarine color. It's very pretty. Day number 11. We have a Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream. Day number 12 is a Huey Leave-In Conditioner. I actually just finished my last one of these, so that was good timing. Day number 13, we have a Tower 28 Tinted Lip Balm. This is in the shade Mix. It's very damp, which is nice. Typically when you get a lip balm that's in pencil form, it's really dry and it's like a matte lip balm, which makes no sense. This actually seems like it would be a little moisturizing. Day number 14. This is a Sunday Riley Good Jeans. Wouldn't it be an advent calendar without a Sunday Riley or a 111 Skin product. Day number 15. A Sol de Janeiro Bom Dia Bright Cream. I've only tried their Bum Bum Cream and I am probably the only person in the world that doesn't like the smell of it. I actually can't fall asleep if I've used it that day. It just it stinks to me. This one smells better. Definitely smells better. Day number 16. Oh, this is a it's a big boy. This is a Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold mask. 
Uh, I have a friend who really likes this product. She keeps trying to get me to try it. And the full size is $85. And this size, I know because I just looked this up, is $58. And like, I thought $58 to try something was ridiculous. So this was a good addition to this calendar. I'll definitely give it a whirl. It is supposed to help lift and firm the look of skin and impart an opulent glow. I think it's just gimmicky and it's colored gold, but we'll see. Day 17. I knew it was coming. We all knew it was coming. This is a 111 Skin Vitamin C Brightening Booster. I have an unopened box of this that I received in an Allure Beauty box a while back. This is what it looks like. Again, 111 Skin just has to be so overpriced for what you get considering the enormous sizes that we receive in beauty boxes and other places and how inexpensively it goes on sale. A lot of the 111 skin products that are like two, $300 you can buy from the Allure Beauty Box for 25 or $30. It just doesn't add up. I will add that I've not hated any of the 111 skin products that I've tried. I've actually really liked the masks. I just would never in a million years spend what they're asking for them. Day number 18. Day number 18 is an Orbe Royal Blowout Heat Styling Spray. I have quite a few of these little Orbe minis that I plan on just popping in my bag the next time I can leave the country. Who knows when that'll be. Thanks COVID, but I don't have any kind of a heat styling spray yet, so good addition. Day number 19. Huh, day number 19 is a benefit. They're real magnet mascara. Not sure what the magnet is about. Mascara with a magnetic force that draws lashes out to extreme lengths. Extender brush with magnetically charged core pulls the magnetic mineral enriched formula up and out beyond the tips of lashes. This sounds like something you would see on a late night infomercial. Do those still exist? I don't actually, like I have a television behind me, but it's not hooked up to anything. It's a cute little package though. And it has like an old school magnet on the top. Day number 20. Day number 20 is a Dr. Barbara Sturm Hyaluronic Serum. Uh, this is definitely a good item to have in this calendar that was $125 because this size hyaluronic acid from Dr. Barbara Sturm, I believe retails for $110. So uh, that's like almost what I paid for the calendar. Day number 21, we have an Olaplex Hair Perfector Repairs and Strengthens All Hair Types. It's my first time seeing Olaplex in a calendar. Day number 22, this one has some heft to it. Well, now I know why. Day number 22 is an Augustinus Bader The Rich Cream. This size, The Rich Cream, I know sells for $85. So just this and the Hyaluronic Acid Serum were well over what we paid for the calendar. So that's great. This might be the first calendar this year that actually meets the stated value. That would be amazing. Hopefully the number down there is getting close. Day number 23. Ooh, day number 23 is an Alatas. I am definitely botching that, but it's an Alatas 24K Lip Therapy. I'm always down for any new lip product. It says apply whenever lips need an extra dose of hydration, which for me would be literally every second of every day. Oh, it's clear and then there's like little gold flecks. Hopefully they dissolve when you uh, apply pressure to them because I don't want enormous gold flecks on my lip set. That's not really my thing. All right, we're on the last day. This is so sad. The calendar is pretty upset about it being the last day as well, I guess. Um, that was a little terrifying. Anyway, day number 24. Hopefully it's something good. Oh, this is something good. Uh, day number 24 is a super goop glow screen sunscreen. 
I like super goop I have only used super goop that I've received in advent calendars and beauty boxes because it's I think so expensive for a sunscreen when they all should hopefully perform the same and do the same thing but this is what it looks like I might be heading off to Mexico for a couple of days in about a week so this will definitely come in handy if I can leave the country but you know COVID has ruined every travel plan I've made in the last two years so we'll see hopefully things can like stay leveled out for a little bit so that was it for the Revolve 2021 Beauty Advent Calendar. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you liked this content, please feel free to hit that little subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.